Apparently, the 2020 Moto Caddy Dry Series Car Bag is one of the most waterproof bags currently available to buy. So naturally, if you're thinking about buying this cart bag, then you're going to want to watch all of this video because not only do I go through the full waterproof test, but I also go through all the key details that you're going to want to know. Now, I've used it on the course for several rounds and there's a couple of little things that just niggle at me a little bit. And of course, I've included my affiliate links and any discount codes that I've currently got down in the description below. But given you've probably come to this video to see how waterproof this bag really is, let's start there. I feel like I'm posing for an awkward photo with a bag. So I've got the clubs under the hood cover. Actually, quite impressed with the quality of that hood. I've also got a few bits in all of the pockets which are done up nice and tight. So let's test this out. I'm only happy when it rains. I'm only happy when it's complicated. Right, there we go. That's probably about a minute's I'm worth of soaking now. Let's see how it got on. Let's see. They are bone dry there we go so you can see there absolutely no water on them more importantly let's take a look in the pockets starting with the big main one let's see i would say that's dry soft pocket let's see how that's fared again it's nice and dry what about these front pockets here let's have a little look so okay so again a little bit of water's just crept in when i've opened it but it's definitely not penetrated that pocket whatsoever look my glasses tissues that kind of thing completely dry in that pocket yeah a little bit of newspaper in there absolutely dry let's have a little look in the bottom one a pair of winter gloves in there they are absolutely bone dry let's take a look at the big pocket on this side where i've got some waterproof clothes look that is nice and dry in fact if we just bring the camera in nice and close you can try and see it for yourself in there oh, it's not going to pick it up with the light i'm afraid but the clothes in here are absolutely 100% bone dry. Let's just check this final pocket. I think I had a scorecard in this pocket. Let's open that one now. Totally dry. So in terms of it being a waterproof cart bag, well, it passes that test with flying colors. I think you don't really have to worry about your stuff getting wet in this bag. The zips are really high quality. They've got this kind of thermo liner on them and I didn't get any water through on those. And again, you've also got these little caps at the end of some of the zip pockets there to try and help prevent water getting through. Can't believe this actually starting to rain. Well, I guess that's another way we can test how waterproof it is. So let's go through the rest of the details because what good is a bag if it's waterproof, but not actually very good. Covering off the basics, you've got seven pockets with this bag. You've got two smaller ones on the side here. You've got two bigger ones on each side, and then you've got the three at the front. In terms of the actual space inside the pockets, it's okay. It's not amazing, it's gotta be said, but you're gonna have enough room to get pretty much everything you want in this side. Now on this side of the pocket, because you have got an integrated umbrella holder, which slots down through there then actually this pocket doesn't have quite as much space in it certainly if you've got an umbrella in the bag also you can see here that the pocket doesn't really open that wide that is a bit of a compromise in terms of the waterproofness of the bag if i open up this side pocket i feel that this one's a little bit bigger because inside here i can show you what i've got in there quite comfortably we've got two pairs of mitts the waterproof hood that i showed you earlier also i've got a waterproof pair of trousers and i've got my waterproof jacket as well so i had enough space to keep all that in there quite comfortably not too much more else would really go in that pocket you could probably tell this pocket on the bottom here is your cooler pocket so you open it right up and you've got a lined material on the inside commonplace with all bags these days however because it is quite large it doesn't necessarily do the best job at keeping stuff particularly cool that's how i found anyway because there's just a lot of ample room in there that being said i suppose if you want to put your own kind of cooler block in there or your ice block that's going to do the job pretty well but for me personally I've just kind of ended up keeping look, balls, spare gloves, all sorts in that pocket because it's quite a good size. You've then got these other two pockets here. So again, you've got plenty of space for balls in that one if you want to keep them there. And you've got a smaller one at the top and they keep quite a good structure as well. I've never really actually run out of space when using this bag. If you are finding this video helpful, then please make sure you smash that like button. So it'll help make sure that more people get to see it. At the top of the bag, you've got 14 full length dividers 
and I've never had a problem with these clubs getting snagged up at all. But just to confirm, the actual dividers turn into a material quite early on in the bag, so they're not full length hard material like you see on the top. The actual dividers on the top are nicely padded and you've got a little bit more room for this one at the front, whether you want to keep your driver, which is what I do at the front, or if you want to keep your putter in it instead. Now that's one thing I did just want to cover off with this because there isn't a separate putter well with this bag. So that means that you can see here that I've got my mallet style putter just in one of the dividers. Now that does mean that when the bag is actually on the trolley, it can kind of bunch up some of the clubs a little bit because that mallet head is so big. Again, that's not the end of the world, but just something to be aware of. Something that I really do like with this bag is the actual carry options in the handle. So you've got a nice, big, sturdy, chunky handle here. So it's really easy just to grab hold of that bag there. And actually what you've also got is an integrated handle on the bottom here. So hopefully you can just kind of see that. It means when you actually want to pick it up and put it in your car or something like that, you've got a good grip on both ends of the bag. If I spin the bag around here, then you can see, if I slide that one to the side, you've got a carry handle there if you want to use it that way as well. And you've also got the strap for the shoulder as well. And what I like about that is that it's not only easy to kind of clip on and off if you want to, there's a little element there which means that the actual strap just sits nicely on the bag the whole time. So you don't have to take up extra space in your bag carrying your shoulder strap around. And it's really handy to have because if your trolley does break or you do have issues, you really wanna have your strap with you at all times. And while I've got the bag on my shoulder, I've gotta say that this is an incredibly light cart bag. So it weighs 2.4 kilograms without anything in it. And that's actually lighter than some carry bags. It's definitely lighter than my current tailor-made carry bag, which is around four or five years old now. So I was actually really, really impressed. And to be honest, I wouldn't have too much of a problem if I had to carry this around. I wouldn't want to, but I can certainly do it if I need to. On this side of the bag, you've got a small metallic hook, and on the other side, you've got a much bigger plastic one. So again, you've got plenty of space there to clip on your towels, your range finders, your club cleaners, all that kind of stuff. In terms of fixing this to the trolley, then you've got a couple of options. Now, first of all, you can probably see on the bottom of the bag there, you've got a cutout, so it will fit securely on most push cart trolleys. But also, if I bring that up close to the camera, you'll probably see you've got a couple of little notches on the bottom there. So they come separately and you screw them onto the bag and that's specific for Motocaddy's easy lock system. So if you have got a Motocaddy electric trolley then those little two bits just slot into the bottom of the trolley and it means that you don't have to put a strap around the bottom of the bag and it just gives it that extra bit of stability while it's on the cart. Now that doesn't mean that the bag isn't going to fall off the cart ever because it does have a limit to it but it just is a nice, quick, easy system to give you a little bit more stability. Personally, I think the bag looks really smart. I'm really happy with the actual quality of the zips and these little kind of elements at the end. I think Motocody call them zip garages. It's a fancy word for it. And the actual materials feel nice and it is easy to clean and wipe down as well. With that being said, there were a couple of elements that I did find just a little bit frustrating when I was using the bag out on the course in the real world. Now, the first one is in terms of the scorecard holder. So you've got a little pocket right here at the front that's designed for the scorecard. The thing is, I've got a normal scorecard here. This is actually quite a small scorecard, I'd say. And you put it in that way, and well, a good amount of it sticks out the top, and it doesn't really, nope, doesn't fit in sideways whatsoever. So, you know, it's a little bit annoying for me as a frustration, and also, you've got no specific place to keep your pencil. Now again, you can just kind of pop it in that bag there. That's gonna do its job, I suppose, it's not a problem at all. Personally, I normally would like to have just a little pocket or something on the side, just to make sure that I don't lose my pencil throughout the round. Again, I'd be a little bit scared that the scorecard might just blow away. Of course, you can keep it in your pocket if you wanna do that, or you can put it in one of these side pockets instead. Totally up to you. Now, while there are Velcro elements at the top of the bag here at the rear on each side, initially I thought they were somewhere that you could keep your glove, However, that's not the case. That's part of how you actually clip on your waterproof hood on the bag. Now, the thing is, is that when you actually stick this on a Moto Caddy trolley, you can see here that the top fastening completely covers over up those Velcro parts. So that's not particularly ideal. Would have been nice to have an extra little patch somewhere just to keep your glove. One last thing that I noticed as well is that there's no real easy access place to keep a bottle of water or something like that. So yes, you have got the cool pocket here if you want to use it, but you've got to open it up and kind of rummage around and grab it. Again, that's not a deal breaker, but just little things that I kind of want to share with you that I found out. With all that being said, the focus of this bag, and the clue is kind of in the name really, is being a waterproof cart bag. And if you're worried about getting caught out in a storm out on the golf course, and you want to keep everything inside nice and dry, 
well, this is gonna do the job really, really well. Now, at the time of filming, Motocaddy have just released a brand new 2022 version, and hopefully I'm gonna get my hands on that so I can actually do a side-by-side -side comparison to see what they've improved with the new version. So make sure you smash that like button if that's a video you wanna see, or if you found this one helpful, and why not check out my unboxing of the Motocaddy M1 electric trolley.